What is up, YouTube? All right, guys, the Dream Media crew is here, and we have a Sunbright TV. What do you think about Sunbright, Gray? I, I love Sunbright. It's my number one go-to brand in America. And all y'all got to know is we do free shipping across the country every day! Day, every deals, day. Deals, 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 deals. We have the best brands. We have the best pricing. Give us a call. All right, guys. I want to discuss today why it may not be a good idea to use an indoor TV outside because everybody seems to think that it's just the best thing going. So. If you look here, you know, it may look all right to your average person, but to me, I don't really like these lines in the screen, you know? You know? It kind of affects your... your <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> kind of affects your viewing experience, you know? So, we recommend using a true outdoor TV. In fact... Check it out. Today. We got a Sunbright, so... Sometimes it's better to just buy it once, put it up, and not have to worry about it, guys. Um, this is a Sunbright Veranda Series TV. They are for full shade situations, like you can see we have here, where it's actually roofed and covered. Um, they do have a Signature as well as a Pro Series, which are a little bit more expensive, but these things are super affordable. Like, this is a 55 inch, and it's only two grand, and it is 4K. That's it. Yeah, just two grand. And it's also, uh, up to I think they say 30 or 40 percent brighter and it has a matte finish on it so not only is it affordable but it can give you the peace of mind but it's also a better panel um, so I'm gonna throw this up on the wall and uh, show you guys what it looks like installed if you would like to purchase this product make sure to give us a call we have the best pricing guaranteed and free shipping this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater All right, guys, let's see what's inside the box. Looks like they give us a remote control with batteries. How nice. A uh, 3.5 to RCA for audio. Wow, they wow. really think ahead. And then we also have a HDMI male to female extension. Pretty wow. nice. And a manual, I'll take it. So let's see what we got over here. All this stuff is rusted. We have nice well packaged TV here and let's see inside what makes this TV different from your average indoor TV well I would say it's how they seal it up look at this thing it's suctioned even on the side panel here you got nice foam pads keep everything nice and sealed from the humidity here in Texas or the extreme heat because if not, this thing would look like the components that Grayson's working on over here. <laughs> Let's check those out. Yeah. Look at that look rust. Look rusted, baby. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, we don't want our new TV looking like that. So you better get you one of these, guys. Look at this. Nice these things and are pretty. Off the shelves. Literally, can't keep them on the shelves. Literally, middle of dead winter. <laughs> We're shipping them to Australia. All right, guys. If you look here, we have an RJ45, three HDMI ports, a PC VGA. We have a uh, PC VGA audio in, which is what that cable is for. We have component and composite connections, as well as an analog audio out. I guess you could use that 3.5 for either or. And then you also have a digital audio out. Tuner built into this guy. We got a a uh, USB and an IR rear receiver. Well guys, I am super excited to get this up on the wall and rip this piece of junk down. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> oh, giddy up! <laughs> Alright guys, so we just got the TV up here mounted on the, the old mount and next thing we need to do is just secure all of our uh, devices back to the back of the TV. We're doing a few things here. Um, we have the link receiver and transmitter. That's a HDMI converter. It converts the Cat5 signal over for long runs to HDMI. 
Back there in the house, back in there, we have our devices, and this is gonna convert that signal over, and then we're gonna control everything with a radio frequency processor, um, making it easy for the customer to control all of these devices with one button press, because nobody likes fumbling with all those remotes. Gracie's gonna get to work on that. And I'm well, guys, we're getting to that point in the day where things start to work. So let's fire this Sunbright TV up and see what it's got. Now guys, uh, this Sunbright TV is probably my all-time favorite outdoor TV and probably most of yours as well, but we do carry one other brand, which is Sura. And if you guys are interested in that outdoor TV, we also do carry that. Free shipping, best prices guaranteed. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this TV set up. All right, I hope you guys are ready to party. We just finished this system up and I wanna show you what it's got. We're gonna go ahead and hit play. We got a, uh, a good mixture of speakers in this system. If you look around the pool, we have a bunch of rock speakers. Up underneath the house here, we have a couple weatherproof speakers mounted up underneath the deck. Giving nice compression throughout the space. As you make your way through the yard, you can see there's rock speakers everywhere. I have it turned down now, but this really does rock, guys and I'm actually gonna mute it because of copyright reasons. You can see we have rock speaker there, as well as behind the seating area there when you're lounging out on the sun deck. And then over here behind the hot tub, rock speaker as well. Now, this is the other part that's really cool. You can see here's our, our garbage indoor TV that didn't make it. We went ahead and pulled down that guy and put up a Sunbright TV. It's an outdoor veranda series designed for the elements. It can get rained on. The customer doesn't have to worry anymore. Now, what's really cool is they can have the game going here. And at the same time, they can also play their Sonos. So again, I'm going to start it back up. And you can see I have this broke out into gazebo TV area. or gazebo kitchen. And just like that, you can quickly play it, toggle your music between different zones. You can see there's two pairs here and two pairs over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the other zone. It's kind of blasting the neighbors right now. But what else is really cool is the fact that you can pair together the television, like the audio and on, and we wanna Pair that into the system, of course. This customer's gonna have a rager over here. So we're gonna come right in here to our sources, back out of music, line in. And I took a few different line ins into the system, but I'm gonna select the gazebo kitchen. So now what's happening is Sonos is grabbing the audio from the direct TV system. We took analog audio out into it so that they can have all these speakers throughout the yard and really anywhere throughout the entire home piped through the Sonos system. So you can hear right now it's coming through the TV. We can also come in here and give it a little bit more volume. Just like that. Now, no matter where you are out in this backyard, you can clearly hear the audio. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. So this is a review of the outdoor system. Now, I'm gonna take you guys inside in a little bit and show you what we did in there. But if you like this video and you like landscape audio, Give us a call or shoot us an email. We can ship this stuff to you if you guys don't live in the Dallas area. And if you do live in Dallas, we can even set it up for you. Now keep in mind, we do have a low price guarantee. Free shipping and you guys can have your own installer set it up for you. Or you can DIY it and you can watch our videos and how it's done. All right guys, this is Zach with Dream Media. We just wrapped up this project and I want to show you what we got here. So we have a Sonos Play Bar in the living room and we got a few in-ceiling speakers as well that are tied into the Sonos system. And we did a universal remote system for the customer. They got a few to choose from. In the living room, we did a Pro 24R one button press touchscreen remote. 
All they have to do is walk in here and hit one button, either Direct TV, Apple TV, or Xbox, and it'll fire everything up, turn it all to the correct input for them. Very easy to operate. We cleaned all of the wiring up here behind the console. And then we did a secondary pro remote for the patio. They got Apple TV and Direct TV out there. One button press, very easy to operate. Um, and then all the components are down in here. You can see they have a Niles um, uh, uh, speaker selector and amplifier uh, with a Sonos Connect tied into that, which is right back here. Sonos Connect amps for a few in-ceiling zones throughout the home, as well as another um, Sonos Connect, Apple TV, a binary switcher, the uh, ProLink R, and a few Direct TV boxes. Oh, and I almost forgot, uh, there's also a sub over in this room. So I'm gonna show you some of the other rooms that we did. So this room, this is an older home, and you can see there's no way for us to get wiring into this room because there's no attic access. So I just threw a little play one over here in the corner. 200 bucks, can't beat it. Now they have audio over here. Um, and we did this for all of these rooms where they're kind of constrained on where they can put uh, wiring in without completely gutting the ceiling. If you look here, we got a Sonos Play Bar. If the Swan Virginia passes, you guys know I love Sonos. They're just plug and play, super easy. So now it's customer has like 20 zones to choose from. They also have surround sound now in their master bedroom. Rear left and rear right. Back here. And then in the bathroom. Everybody needs music in the bathroom. I tell you guys um, all the time that uh, it's quality of life. You gotta have it. So, um, we also did a couple other zones at upstairs. I'm not gonna run up there right now, but they're just on us play ones. And then um, there's a theater room up there as well, which I'll kind of do a second phase to this video because that's not really part of the Sonos system. So as part of the Sonos system, we have a couple weatherproof speakers out here as a stereo zone as soon as you walk out so you can hang out here and have dinner and just have these speakers on without disturbing the neighbors. So very nice but in this particular situation you can see this is a giant backyard right so we went kind of crazy rock speaker rock speaker rock speaker rock speaker and then back here rock speaker rock speaker you got to have independent zone control, guys. It makes a well-balanced system sound awesome. So uh, if you look over here, we also have independent, just the kitchen area out here under the gazebo. So another stereo zone. Grilling out, listening to music. You can also pipe in these guys here. So... There's a few different ways you can do this. Um, I, I put in a Sunbright TV, uh, out, true outdoor TV, and what's nice is that the customer can either have the audio from the football game going throughout all these speakers just in here, or the customer can have the, the speakers going with like music, and then they can have the game going as a visual. It's really cool the way you can orientate um, and uh, manipulate the different zones. Um, I think what they're going to use probably most of the time is football game on the TV and then they can pair together all of these speakers out here in the backyard as music, which is what I like to do in my own home as well. So I'm going to take you guys inside and show you the actual operating system, the Sonos app itself. So give me just one moment. Okay, so here's my iPad. Check it out. We have the master bathroom, the master bedroom, the pool, the gazebo kitchen, the back porch, and even the gazebo TV player. We got the garage on there. If you're in the garage, you know, working on something, you can crank the tunes. Or if your kid's in the uh, driveway playing basketball with their friends, they can even pipe their music in there. All independently controllable. This is why I love Sonos. And what's cool is that, um, well, I'm getting a little off track, but um, garage. We also have the family ceiling, we have uh, the formal living, the family room, and then a couple extra speakers that can kind of be floaters throughout the rooms. Um, so as I was saying, what's really cool is that you have your different music sources. You can see they have the TuneIn, Pandora, Songza, uh, SoundCloud, Spotify, TV, and then Line In. So 
Let me talk about line in a little bit, guys. So line in is a physical device that's plugged into the Sonos system. So you heard me earlier talking about how they can have the football game going throughout the whole house. Well, there's a few different ways you can do that. You can even uh, either have like a Sonos play bar hooked up to your TV, digital audio out, optical, or you can have analog audio into a Sonos Connect amp or a Sonos Connect. In this situation, these are analog inputs. So the garage is actually for a 3.5 headphone jack, like old school, you wanted to just plug in a phone. It's nice to have sometimes. Um, the other option is the gazebo kitchen. And that's what I was telling you about earlier, where you can select the direct TV box to have play throughout the entire yard or one particular area of the yard. Um, this is just a overview of the Sono system and kind of a quick look. Um, you even have my favorites where you can just set things that automatically um, play. You set playlists and you hit one button and it streams throughout the entire home. You guys know I love Sonos. You guys know you love Sonos. If you would like us to do a project like this for you and you live in the Dallas area, just give me a call or shoot me an email. If you don't live in Dallas, still give me a call or shoot me an email because we can ship these items to you. Free shipping anywhere in the US and we have a low price guarantee. Guys, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Make sure to subscribe down below, give me a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.